What if you could rewire your brain to be more awesome simply by reading a book? Well, now you can! Kung Fu! <laughs> Hey there, fellow bookworms. Trace here for D News. And Dr. North popping over from my show, In the Making. You know that feeling when you read a book and you feel like you are a protagonist? Well, new research shows you might be altering your brain connectivity and living the life you're reading about. Scientists have been able to measure the short-term effects of reading on neuronal activity in various parts of the brain using an fMRI. Your brain is full of neurons transmitting signals to each other. In order to support this neuronal activity, the body needs to supply more blood to these areas of the brain. The blood delivers oxygen, so on its way to the neurons, the blood is oxygen rich, when it returns, oxygen poor. The change in oxygen causes a change in the magnetism of the blood. So using fMRI, or functional magnetic resonance imaging, scientists can detect this change in magnetism, oxygen level, and corresponding neuronal activity. Or in other words, we can see where the brain activity is occurring. Thanks, Dr. North. Okay, smart and stuff. Using this technique, researchers at Emory University did a study where the subjects read the novel Pompeii in a little over a week. The book is a page-turning thriller by Robert Harris based on the real-life eruption of Mount Vesuvius in ancient Italy. At least, that's what the researchers said. I haven't read it. Have you read it? No. But there's they, a, there's they, a movie. Oh, oh God. They said they also picked it because it has a strong narrative arc and a clear lead character. After establishing a baseline for five days, for the next nine days, the subjects would read 30 pages of book each evening. The following morning, after taking a quiz to make sure they did their homework, researchers performed an fMRI to measure activity in the specific portions of the brain. They found a continuous increase in arousal with some of the most exciting chapters, hmm. with the highest being the actual eruption of Mount Vesuvius. Whoa! Spoiler alert, Mike. Come on. Everyone knows it's, Pompeii. It's, yeah, I'm just yeah. kidding. It's Pompeii. Anyway, the results also showed heightened connectivity in the left temporal cortex, which is correlated with heightened receptivity for language, which they call shadow activity, which sounds kind of fancy. It's sort of like the muscle memory of the mind, which is cool, because even though they weren't reading the book at the time of the fMRI, there was leftover effect from the previous night of reading. And even cooler is they saw increased activity in the sensory motor regions, or as the author of the paper puts it, that reading a novel can transport you into the body of the protagonist. Hmm. More specifically, they saw long-term changes in the bilateral somatosensory cortex, suggesting a potential mechanism for embodied somatics. In other words, thinking about jumping can cause the same neural activity as actually jumping. It's almost like their brains were living the actions of the lead character. But Mike, does this mean that if I read about someone doing something, like shooting arrows or doing kung fu, then would I be better prepared to do it in real life just by reading it? Possibly. Hmm. So in the movie The Matrix, when Neo goes into that simulated training system, he was really just stimulating his mind, I guess. His mind could have been preparing his body as well. That's pretty cool. What do you guys think of this new research? Are you gonna read more books after this? Tell us down below in the comments and be sure you subscribe for more D News. And as long as you're in a subscribing mood, Mike, you can check out my show, In The Making, where I take you behind the scenes of some of the most amazing scientific breakthroughs. Click the link on your screen to subscribe. We've got new episodes every Thursday. Thanks for stopping by, Mike. Thank you. See you guys.